Yeah, come back. No, I just need you to come backwards a little tiny bit. Um, what the hell is going on? Physics? Hello, physics? How long do you suppose the game would let me keep this up? Forming the duties of his office. Of Digby C. Caesar. No. Well, hey, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. I am Digby, and today we are back in the long drive. Now, in the last episode, we kind of left it on a bit of a cliffhanger, which was, what are we going to do with the van? Well, I have decided that I am going to fix it up and keep it. So, yeah, I went off camera. I did a little bit of work on it. I basically just cleaned up the body. I found a paint can around here with a color on it that I thought was kind of appropriate. And, yeah, this is what it looks like so far. <laughs> What do you think? Yes, it is extremely purple. However, that was like the most hippie color I could find. And yeah, cleaning it up, it looks a hundred times better. Now, one custom thing I actually did was I found a chrome VW van, well not VW van, but like a Volkswagen Beetle bumper. And I know it's a little bit of clipping. <laughs> ah, friggin' motorcycles. Anyway, as I was saying, I kind of like the look of this thing when it's chromed up. And I'm wondering, now, I'm pretty sure that truck, if I remember from the edit, had a chrome front bumper. Yeah, I took the crappy black plastic one off. I don't know where it ended up. It was around here somewhere anyway. Oh, and I took the license plates off, or at least I took a license plate off, because that one just doesn't cut it. I'm half tempted to put the, uh, well, I called it a cuss license plate, but I was corrected by my Dutch friend Jeannie that it's actually the Dutch word kiss. Uh, I think she pronounced it Koos, but anyway, yeah, it's it's Kiss. And I'm thinking the Kiss plate might be really, really good on here. So yeah, we'll probably do that. I think the first thing, though, I want to do is I want to see if I can get the chrome front bumper on this truck over here to be a chrome rear bumper on the Shaggin' Wagon. Oh, actually, what else have you got? Okay, well, we got chrome mirrors. Uh, where'd I drop the grill? Are you a chrome grill as well? Okay, whoop, no, we're gonna have to fix this up. But yeah, there's our chrome grill, and there's our chrome mirrors. Let me just grab this bumper. Okay, stop putting up a fight, thank you. Yeah, let's go check it on the van and see how it looks. All right, game, are you gonna let me do this? Game says, actually, it looked like game said yes. Game says, yeah, we'll let you do it, Digby, but we're gonna make you work for it. Okay, please get on the thing, and there we go. Ooh. Again, a little bit of clipping, but nothing I can't live with. All right, let's, yeah, let's shut the door up. Yeah, we still got to do something with the rims and these stupid mirrors. Okay, you go away. You go away. I'm going to go grab the chrome ones and the chrome grill. And yeah, I'll get those cleaned up. And we'll throw them on and see how they look. Oh, yeah, I am completely digging this thing in chrome. Now... We'll just throw on the driver's side mirror, and then we'll throw on the grill. Oh, actually, before we do the grill, while we've got that open, I'm going to probably put the engine in. Um, actually, the first thing we got to do is get the crappy one out. Oh, and a huge thank you to everybody who mentioned in the comments that this thing is actually a uh, two-stroke. I would have been probably a billion years before I figured that out on my own. So yeah, I do appreciate it, but two strokes, not going to cut it. Uh, yeah, we've got a choice actually between diesel and V8 power. Now, I'm actually incredibly tempted by diesel power. Okay, I'm going to just take the cover off, pop it down there on the floor where it'll stay safe. I want to see how much of a uh, interference this is going to be once we put it in. So yeah, we've actually got that bus motor we used to get up the really tall hill. And we've also got the other V8 that we had. Oh, hold on. The noble steed has come out of his basket. Okay, that might be the single goofiest he has ever sat in a basket. Oh, and while we're at it, Digby. Uh, yeah, here's a thought too. Let's hit the e-brakes. Oh, wait a minute. No, I had the e-brake on on that one. Why are you guys wandering around so bad? Oh, this one didn't have the e-brake on. You're probably what's torqued everything out of position. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Is this a baby rabbit? Because if it's not a baby rabbit, that's like the smallest rabbit I have ever seen. Um, okay, look. One thing at a time, Digby. One thing at a time. Oh, yes, please, come here. Come here. I want to kill you for a size comparison. Oh, wretched things. They never show up when you want them to. Let me just... Yeah, I know. You keep threatening me, but you... Oh, hello. There you are. Yes. Come get me. No, actually, don't... Oh, that was absolutely perfect. Thank you. Okay, this is a full-size one. And then we've got this one. Yeah, I didn't know they came in different sizes. Okay. Now, see, you learn something new every day. Okay, now... Ah, oh, you know what? I'm going to get actually a little bit behind it. I do not know if I'm going to even be able to get far enough into this thing to allow me to do this. Oh, it's going to let me do it. I just don't know what's going to happen after I do it. So, cross your fingers. Drum roll, please. Oh, for God's sakes, really? Just pick it up, mount it. Yeah, that, I don't think, is going to cut it. Oh, please tell me I can get this back out now. Please, please tell me I can get this back out. It is not boding well for me getting this back out. Now, here's a thought. Dismount it. Drop it. Okay, there we go. Now, can I just... I'm wondering if it would be easier to push the truck back. You know what? Yes, it would, Digby. It would be a lot easier to push the truck back. So, let's hop in. Disengage the emergency brake. The mirror is actually a little bit rusty as well, so if we can steal the mirror off that other truck, that would be handy as well. Now just give it some gentle pushes. You don't want to go too crazy. Uh, I suppose, actually, we could roll it over, maybe? Like if I just knock it up onto its side, or at least... Oh, hold on. Don't tell me you're stuck on this thing. No. Let go of the motor. Yeah, don't be stuck on this. Just... There you go. Okay, now. No, no. Stop. Stop running. Stop running. No, don't go that way. Jesus. Okay, look. Just... Here. Digby, get in. Emergency brake. Okay. The diesel experiment. Total failure. Let's go grab the V8. Okay, real quick. We only need a couple of liters of oil. Is there any line around here? Anywhere. I got gold bricks. I don't know what that is. Um, what are you? Come here, come here. Um, okay, is that an engine or something? Oh, that's a motorcycle engine, okay. And in this box, oh, hello, you know what we need in our shagging wagon? We need a lovely lady. Love is in the air, in the whisper of the tree. Okay, how about you sit right about there? Perfect. Now, big V8. Get yourself in there. Whoops. No. Get yourself in there. Like so. Ooh, that actually looks pretty good. Are you dragging on the ground or anything I need to worry about? Nope. Can I actually... Well, here. Let's just put the radiator back in. Like so. Let's go grab our grill. I'm trying to remember where I left it. I think it was in here on the floor. There's our grill. Yes, let's grab our grill. Ignore all of the rabbits. Oh. There's that stupid plastic bumper. I knew I'd seen it around here somewhere. Anyway, yes, we'll pop the grill on. We'll throw some gas in this thing. We've got oil. I already filled the radiator, yes? Okay, paranoid moment. Yes, okay. Coolant's full. Oil's full. Grill is on. The thing is chromed up beautifully. Where's the gas tank on this? Right there. We've got our lovely lady... Who doesn't have a name yet, but give me a minute to think about it. There we go. Okay, now, lovely lady person, you need a name. How do you feel about... No, just shut the thing. Shut the thing. See, there we go. Yes, you need a name. How do you feel about... Well, I'm not the kind to kiss and tell, but I've been seen with fair up. Okay, we're back where we started, only now we're actually ready for a proper big reveal. So, we've got the wheels on it, we've got, well, I mean, there's a couple things down the road we can get, like, you know, decorations for the back and some other things, but all in all, she's pretty much done. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Shaggin' Wagon. Oh, it is just absolutely glorious. Okay, yes, get away from there. Yeah, we got little skinny wire wheels on the front. We got our big old wheels on the back. We got Farrah in the passenger seat. We got a big old V8 in this thing. Oh, and we got the cuss plate. Uh, sorry, I'm going to keep calling it a cuss plate because to me it meant, you know, cussing, swearing. But yeah, apparently it's the coos plate. It means kiss. So yeah, we have a kissing license plate. And that's about as good as I think I can get this thing here. So let's just, actually, let's, yeah, I was going to say, let's just get this thing lined up and make sure we're going to be able to get it parked. So right about, okay, camera, please, please don't do this to me. Yeah, right about here we'll leave you. Let's just turn that off. Now hopefully there's a couple of big boards laying around here so I can get this up into the back of the trailer. Yeah, come back, no, I just need you to come backwards a little tiny bit. Um, what the hell is going on? Physics? Hello, physics? How long do you suppose the game would let me keep this up? One hour later. Ah, okay, so the instant I moved, that stopped. <sighs> I really, 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 really hope that that is not an omen. Okay, well this is extremely unfortunate because there's only one long board around here and I'm afraid that is not going to cut it. Yeah, the only other thing I've got is these two short boards. Well, there's another one of these over there anyway. Um, think, think, think. I suppose there is one sort of... Hello, what, did I just hear like glass breaking? Okay, anyway, yeah, there is kind of one thing that might possibly work. I mean, I'm not holding my breath that it's going to, but it might. I mean, we could try a chassis slide game. Will you please stop doing that? Yeah, the the idea of the chassis slide is if we hit this stick fast enough that, like, momentum will carry it up into the back. I have absolutely no confidence in this plan whatsoever, but I am willing to try it. Twelve seconds later... Yeah, I had a feeling that was exactly how that was going to go. I mean, it's an idea, right? <laughs> I do have one other possibility if this fails, but I've already got this set up, so we're going to go for this first. Yeah, shut the door, Digby. Fire the truck up. Very, very gently. No. Oh, God, that's really loud. Yes, very, very gently. Try and ease your way up onto this contraption. Okay, this is actually going to be an issue with the front wheels, isn't it? Because I put those little tiny wheels on it. Okay, 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 yeah, I know. You're not happy. You're not happy. Are you stuck? Oh, please don't be stuck. I really can't have you stuck right now. Yeah, this is definitely a problem I have created for myself. Alright, well, what if we take the wheels off, which was my other idea, and kind of lower the back down? Will you then be able to get up there? I mean, worst case scenario, I'll swap the tires around and then try and work it out later. Once we get, like, proper long boards, we can take it back off the truck and then get it up in there. Is that going to help at all? I mean, you're really close. I just need you to go up there. Oh, what if I put smaller tires on the back, got it part way up the ramp, and then swapped them back out again? Well, you know what? That can be the idea that we try after this one fails, because that's not going to take very long. In fact, that took only about 10 seconds. Okay, well, ignition off. Let's go grab some sleep. And then, yeah, we will either put bigger tires on the front or smaller tires on the back and see if we can just get the front bumper to clear that lip. Oh, God, I had no idea this was going to be this difficult. The next day. Okay, yes, we've elected to keep this simple and just swap the front and rear tires out just long enough to be able to get it into the back of this friggin' thing. Hello, Tumbleweed. 
If you come to help, I mean, if you want to push, I'm not going to say no. Anyway, yeah, once we get this thing to a location where there are, like, properly long boards that we can actually use, yeah, I just want to go very slowly, very carefully, up into the back of this trailer, please. Kind of like, um... Well, definitely not like that. Oh, shoot. You know what? I had that partly in there. Yes, come back out of there. Let's just... There we go. Stop, 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 stop. Ah, <sighs> okay. Yeah, let me just, uh... Run over there and put the top board on. No. Okay, thank you for not starting. Yeah, I can't even remember what it was I was about to say. But... I think it was along the lines of, once we get somewhere where we have two long boards to play with, we can drive it out of the trailer, swap the tires back, and then put it back in. Either that, or once we get it in the trailer, we can attempt to swap the tires, and just hope like hell that physics doesn't explode. I mean, one way or the other, we will eventually get this thing sorted out. Okay, just go. Just get up in there. Um... There you go. Yes, go, go, go. Actually, don't go. Emergency brake. Ignition off. Yes, Digby out. Camera, quick. Digby out. Digby out. Oh, wait. I need the emergency brake off. Okay, no, no. Yeah, I can't push it with the e-brake on. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I am coming. I am coming. Okay, line back up. Digby, out you go. Let's get this thing actually set up. So that it doesn't fetch up on top of that massive board once it gets up in there. And then we'll try this. Yeah, physics definitely forgot to show up for work today. Okay, that's about as good as I can get it. So we just need to get the perfect amount of speed to hit that. And not overshoot and like end up way out of the back of the trailer. So... Shag and Wagon, please. Can you just get lined up? Get lined up. And go. And come on, baby. Come on. You're in there. You are in there. Come on. Get in there. Get in there. Oh, you know what? I'm going to hit the e-brake. I'm going to turn it off. And I'm going to just try and push it anyway. So let's... uh. Yeah, let's swap the camera. That's what you're looking for, Digby, is the camera button. And then very, very gently so you don't get killed. Uh, yep, there we go. Get out of the truck. Make sure the door is shut. Okay, that can come off. This can come off. Now, I just gotta get up in underneath of this thing a little bit. And just give it a gentle... When I say gentle, I mean that in the loosest possible sense of the word. Yeah, just give it a nudge. Okay, it's not going to let me do this unless I actually turn off the emergency brake. And that is absolutely the last thing I want to do to this truck, is undo the emergency brake. Okay, that's closer. Are the front wheels touching? No, so that's not going to work. Alright, how about if I just give you a good... Solid push from here. Will I get you up in there? Okay, is it working? I can't really tell. Oh, it feels like it might have been working there for a second. So. Whoops. No. Alright, yes, you go over there for a minute so I can have more of a surface to latch onto and I can actually see what's going on. Yes, push. Push, Digby, push. Push it real good! No, don't grab the bed, you fool. Um, okay, what if we take the bumper off? I know, I'm actually stripping the vehicle now. Yeah, what if we take the bumper off and get down low so we can see? Are we... No, let go of the bed. Stop trying to grab the bed. I want you to push the... Yes, yes! No! Crap. Okay, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're not licked yet. Come on, push. Push. Push, 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 push. Um, maybe if I took the back wheels off? Oh no, it's coming out. No, 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 no. You get right back up in there, damn it. I worked really hard to get you up in there. Okay, yeah, wheel off. 
Okay, that's off. Yes. Nope. Wheel off and push. Wheel off and push. Okay, Matt's pushing on the bed. I want to push on the truck. Get it up in there. Okay, switch sides really quick. Wheel off. And push. And push. Come on, baby. Just get up in the trailer. Oh, come on. You are so close. You are so close. Um, yeah. Oh, crap. I'm stuck. No, get out of there, Digby. Get out of there. Yes, push. Push, damn it. Push. Stop grabbing the bed. Push. Okay, the thing is front-wheel drive. Could it actually just now drag itself up in there? I mean, that would be incredibly handy if it could. Come on, baby. Come on. Just get in there. That is a very funny sound. Okay, are you making any headway at all? I mean, it kind of feels like it's trying. Come on, come on. One eternity later. Okay, no, this is not working. Okay, Digby, there are a couple more things we can try. Okay, what if we just shut the tailgate? Whoa, whoops. Will that do anything for it? So if I... Oh, hold on. Um, there we go. There we go. Now you're up in level. What happens if I push? Yeah, I just need it to go forwards a little tiny bit. Come on, you. Come on. Just slide forwards. Slide forwards. All right, now what if I just really quick whip the tailgate down again, and then very slowly put it up so you're on the other side of it, and then push. Will that work? Um, am I standing up as straight as I can get? I am. I mean, I feel like it's moving, kind of, in the direction I want it to move. Yeah, just... No, stop grabbing the bed, damn it. I want to push the truck. Come on, get in there. Get in there. I mean, as long as physics is cheesed off anyway, how about we try putting the wheels back on now? Like that. And we'll stick this one on if we can get to it. Like so. Okay, now can I drive it forwards? Or do I have to maybe get the tailgate down a little bit more just so it's like on the bottom of the trailer? Okay, it's touching the trailer. I'm going to put the tailgate up close as I can get it. Now, really quickly, let's just jump in. Oh, please let this work. Please let this work. Please let this work. And go. Come on, baby. Come on, bite. You're right there. Come on. You know you want to just drive forward just a little bit. Just a little tiny bit. I actually think it might be hung up on the tailgate is the problem. So let's just make sure this isn't causing an issue anymore. Like that. Okay, yes, just stay put for a second longer. That's all I need you to do is just stay put for just a little tiny bit longer so that I can get you in. Just like... Actually, slightly further back, Digby, slightly further back. Okay, you know what? We can live with this, because now we're in. So, yes, camera off. Digby out. Door shut. Yeah, all I gotta do is undo the emergency brake, and then push this thing backwards once I get the tailgate shut. Like so. Okay, so if I hop back in... I don't know why I didn't leave the door open. Hit the e-brake. Hop back out. And I'll just give you a little tiny bit of a bump. Okay, now you want to shut the door, Digby. Yes, shut the door. Are you in? Oh my god, it's in. <sighs> okay, now all I gotta do... Um, hi. No, physics has decided that... Yeah, I'm ready to come to work now. I don't think so. Okay, look, physics, stop. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to try and put the rear door back on 
if I can get it from here. Yep, just like that. Okay, that freed up the bumper. That was exactly what I was hoping it was going to do. Now, I just need the tailgate down enough. No! Um, Digby, did you not hit the... No, definitely not a thing you wanted... No, get back in there. Get back in there. Get back... No. Okay, you on, you, really quickly, on the back of this truck. Get on there. No. Get on there. Thank you. Okay, bumper. Yeah, I thought I had the e-brake on. All right, well, it doesn't seem like it's going to go anywhere right this second, so... Rear bumper on. Tailgate shot. Shaggin' Wagon is in. Ah. <sighs> Now, all I gotta do is get the tires back on this thing. Like so. Uh, yeah, it's not perfect, but it's in there. And I feel like the emergency brake is definitely not on. So let me hop in there real quick, hit the e-brake, and then we will get some sleep and end the episode, I guess. Alright, well, as my mother always used to say, if you're going to be stupid, be gloriously stupid. And yes, this is quite possibly the most gloriously stupid thing we've done in this entire series, and I absolutely love it. Ah, uh, yeah, I thought this thing drove like crap before. It's going to be a real treat now that we're humping around the shagging wagon. And yes, I used humping around, deliberate pun... Yeah, anyway, hopefully you guys don't mind if we did another episode of The Long Park, but quite frankly, I felt like The Shaggin' Wagon definitely deserved an episode all its own. So yeah, next episode we will hit the road again. I don't know where we're going to go, but I imagine we are going to struggle the whole friggin' way. And on that fatalistic note, as always, I have been Digby. I thank you guys for stopping by. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode of The Long Drive. And yeah, I hope to see you for the next one.